two brand new lenses from Sigma, two lenses from the extreme ends of the spectrum, two lenses that are different, more unusual, and certainly specialist tools for someone specializing in specific types of photography or videography. Both available for Sony E and L mount systems. And in this video, I am talking about this Sigma 15mm f1.4 DGD and diagonal fasciae. Keep watching to find out more. 15mm f1.4 DGDN diagonal fisheye. What is it? It is extreme wide field of view lens. Normally a fisheye lens creates a circular image in the middle of a frame. This is diagonal fisheye. Basically the image fills the entire frame, but you still get severe level of fisheye distortion visible, the bulging. This is a look that is unusual and maybe not suitable for every type of photography. The lens is sharp, it is Sigma. It delivers Sigma signature color and contrast and combining it with that wide angle of view, with that bulging distortion, it creates a look that might not be for everyone's liking too. But because it is different, it is also more fun to shoot with. It is a lens and a look that could become your signature thing, your brand, if you were just using this and if you found creative ways to show its strengths. Where it really would shine is astrophotography. This is the main purpose of this lens. Unfortunately, I live in the north of England and right now the weather is just rain. So I had no chance to test it out. But there is few features built in that make it a perfect tool for astrophotographers. Firstly, a very good correction of chromatic aberration. Minimal aberration is a very important when photographing the stars. There's hardly any. The lens heater retainer, that little lip, for using an optional lens heater so your front glass element doesn't fog up in cold weather and the heater doesn't slide off, creating vignetting. There's manual focus lock, you set the focus to infinity and switch this on and the focus ring is disabled, so you don't turn it by accident when handling the camera in pitch blackness. That extreme 180 degree field of view combined with the wide aperture of f1.4 make it a perfect lens for capturing as much of the sky as possible at night. I find it great for street photography and generally for those moments when I want to create wow and different than the norm images. Closer you get to your subject, crazy distortion you are going to see. Minimal focusing distance is just 385 centimeter, which lets you get very close to your subject, but image quality suffers a lot when trying to get micro-like photos and you are too close. When shooting too close, there's this ghost thing visible. This lens is not meant for that, for sure. It shines when shooting in wide open spaces or large interiors, allowing you to capture way more than the naked eye can see, creating that unusual look of the world. Unusual choice for video work as the distortion is even more severe when combined with motion. Apart from the usual skateboarding or rap music videos, it could be used maybe for vlogging, but you have to bear in mind that distortion, it will make a lot of things look simply weird. But otherwise, it is not a small lens. It is chunky and heavy. It weighs a whopping 1360 gram. It has got that very large curved front glass element with no option to attach traditional screw on filters. This, just like the recent Sigma 14mm, has got rear filter holder. This supports special cutout gel type filters. Lots of buttons, standard AF, MF switch, focus hold button that can be programmed to, to do other things via camera. Mentioned before, manual focus lock or other manual focus off switch, uh, aperture click on off. There's also aperture ring lock, which locks it in auto out of auto mode. The tripod food color is removable and it comes with a snazzy lens cap, same as with a 40 millimeter with the two rear filter holders built in. Fully weather sealed and built to last. The problem, in my opinion, is the price. This is a very expensive lens that potentially is only good for a very limited type of usage. It costs £1,859 here in UK or $1,999 in US. This puts it in a Sony G Master lens class and out of reach of most of people. This price indicates that this is a specialist tool for an astrophotography pro or someone who literally specializes in shooting that distorted look of the world. It is not a spur of the moment purchase and for that price, not a lens for everyone. Conclusion, I had a lot of fun shooting with it. I wish I could have tried Astro, but that's a lot to ask for in winter in north of UK. Overall, extremely well built, excellent quality fisheye lens that simply is out of reach of most of mortals. Shame. And this is it from me. I hope this video was in some way helpful or informative. If it was, please give me a thumbs up, follow me on Instagram and consider subscribing. Check out my Lightroom presets and thank you for watching. See you next time. Closer you get to your subject, crazy distortion you are going to... Ay, 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 ay. 
minimal focusing distance is, is minimal. <laughs> this just like sushi. 